just getting lit up. As I was in the chute on my way down, all of that training kicked in the gear, and I knew exactly what to do. It was, it was there. I knew exactly the steps, the steps they teach you once you're in the parachute, right? I knew how to evade when I got on the ground. I, re I just remembered, you know, what I'd gone through. I hadn't called on that information for 20 years. It's just a funny thing about our training, you know? We're the best trained force in the world, and that's one of the reasons why. So I'll start with why there's no movie. Somebody asked me one time, I says, hey, if, you know, if they do a movie on this thing, you know, who's going to play you? And I said, well, if you can't get Danny DeVito, I'm not interested. <laughs> I would love that movie. <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah. There's a mirror check that we ought to have every day as leaders. And on this journey uh, to become an inspirational leader uh, of character, which is a journey I think we all should be on, the first thing we have to acknowledge is that you actually never arrive. I'm still working on it. You know, we, we're all working on this forever. There's three key words that I've used throughout my time as chief and throughout my career and even now, which is, am I worthy? Those, those are the most important three words for a leader. Am I worthy of the trust and the confidence of those I'm privileged to lead? Because it's an incredible gift. And it's a gift that can be lost in a second of indiscretion, a second of breakdown in character. The moment they leave their front door and step into the public eye, they're watched, they're listened to, everything they say, everything they do. And, and leaders, servant leaders of character ought to welcome that because every moment you're out and about, there's an opportunity to teach and to inspire.